Hey, I just wanted to tell you about a new tool that I've been using and it's been working beautifully. So thank you, Stacy, for hooking this up. Well, basically, I've been using Chromecast as a teaching tool. So I have a student and we meet at the apartment. And so one of the uh, really good way is to use the TV as a monitor. So before Chromecast, I was basically using a HDMI cable that connected directly to the TV and to the um, computer. But then with Chromecast, I was just playing around with it and I thought, wow, it would be really much more convenient if I could use that instead of the cable. So I was researching on the internet to see how this could be done. And so the first thing that you need to do is to set up the Google Cast on your web browser. So that would be the Chrome browser and you just go to the Google App Store, you download it. And then once you download it, then you're going to see this small icon to the top right corner showing you that it has been installed. So once you do that, one of the problems that I was having was that it would only play a specific application. So for example, if I was using YouTube, it would only play YouTube. And the difficulty that I had was I couldn't go to different tabs. I mean, you could do it, but basically it, it asked you you know would you like to switch tabs then you would click yes then it would have to load so there was that delay so it just um was not very uh, user friendly and so then i was thinking gosh this is not going to work but then there is a optional tool that you can use to just record the whole screen and that's the key because once you do that then you can just go uh, seamlessly through the entire, you know, I can basically um, minimize this, I can move this around, I can open other applications. That was the other thing that I was having. Um, I, you know, I wanted to use Microsoft Word or I wanted to use other software on my computer and I wasn't able to do that. So then I thought it, it's really limited. But anyways, let me show you how you can uh, set it up so that you can see the entire screen. So what you do is you click that top right corner and then there's a little drop down arrow. You click that and then you go all the way down to the cast screen window. And once you do that, then you're going to do the entire screen. And when you do that, you're going to have your this, what you're looking at. It's going to show up on your TV and if I minimize this and then it's going it's going to happen same thing on my computer screen it's going to minimize it um, if i want to open up microsoft word no problem uh, one thing that will create a problem if you are using an audio file like a let's say for example um, if i go here and let's say i wanted to for whatever reason i wanted to use this website soundcloud so if you were to play this, then you're going to have a it's sort of um, kind of like a feedback delay where you have sound coming out of your computer speakers and then also sound coming out of the TV speaker. So the way that you can get around that is basically then you go back here and you would uh, stop casting and then you click. You go to the drop down menu and then you cast this tab for audio. And so then when you do that, only the audio from the from the website or from the TV is going to come out. Now, if you're going to do something like YouTube, YouTube already has its own screencast um, thing. So let me show you that. So you go into YouTube and well, so then you would click this, play on TV, and then it's going to play just on the TV and not on the computer. 